I guess Saturday, December 5th. It's about 38 degrees out, so that's why I'm bundled up. I'm on a field to hunt in Ohio. Uh, he had turned it up and it snowed this week, so it kind of beat it down a little bit and then rained a couple times. So um, I'm out walking, hoping I can find something today. If I do find something, you'll get a video and you'll see what I got. So wish me luck. All right, still in the field. I pulled this up a little while ago. Pretty cool colors in it. It's definitely, you know, worked on both sides, broken down here. Um, so that would be my first worked piece of the day until I came up here. You can see I've got my hole in the ground and I'm just hoping that this is a hole. It looks pretty good from here. Hopefully that's a tip sticking in the ground. It looks like the base is all there. And, ooh, it is. Yes. Oh man, if I could hold on to it. Oh yeah. Definitely nice. It's all there. Good deal. Kill shot. I'll wash it up and show you later. I just need a couple more. Got my buddy Robert on his way here. He needs one too. Okay, finally got my buddy Robert out here with me. He's come all the way from Kentucky to hunt. And uh, since we hit the field, I'd already found the one earlier, but I just found this little Madison base. That's thin as crap, but just a broken base. We're trying to get Robert on the board now. I've got one, it's his turn, so hopefully he can get one. Wish us luck. All right, just keep picking stuff up. I'm I'll probably film the full things, but I just picked this one up. It's a, I figure maybe it's like a long stem base or something. Worked on both sides. A work piece, we keep it. All right, I decided I'd film this one since I haven't filmed the last three little broken bases, but it's definitely a broken base. But my coin phrase, we take her. There you go, Doug. We take her. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, it's broken base day today. I definitely got one whole point, but I just saw this color and thought it looked like glass. Look down and look at this. Oh, would have been beautiful point. Oh my God. That base. Wow. Flared base on. Yep. Well, I need the rest of it. And Robert needs a whole one. I need anything. Anything. <laughs> I just picked this thing up. I have no idea what it was. I just, I saw the, the little side on it and it looked like it was marbling looking or something, but it's, it's got a, it's got, it's drilled where it's got a hole through the middle of it. I don't know if it's like a bottle um, or a whiskey jug or what i'll clean it up when i get home and take some opinions all right robert and i out again today hunting we were heading out let's, let's just walk across this field and i kind of cut the corner of this I'm yeah. scared to death. It's just a tip, though. It's, it's, no, but, it's in there. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, we can get oh, some pressure. On. That's a good one. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy oh, crap. That is perfect. I, I think we need to keep walking this field. That's perfect. Oh, my God. It's a beauty. Holy crap. <laughs> That's that a is, screamer, man. That is a... All right, Robert needs his now. God, what a killer. Okay, I washed it off. That thing is a beauty. Man. That's flawless. What a beautiful, beautiful point. Kill shot. I do have a little chip right there off, it looks like. Other than that, that thing is a thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, gosh, it's beautiful. All 
Okay guys, here's the uh, cleanup for the two day hunt with Robert. My buddy Robert Rice came up and from Kentucky and hunted with me over my fields in Ohio. Uh, this piece was a big chunker end piece. Got a couple different colors on it. I thought it was kind of neat. But then I got this end piece. Very thin. And then I got this, looks like it was a Madison that got broke off and we just got the tip into that. And it is like paper thin. I got this one that was, I don't know, just like the end of something. I don't know, it's been worked on both sides. And then this one, that was pretty color. Base was really neat. I wish I would have had the tip to that. It's got a different little look to it on the back. Definitely different. I like that look though. Too bad it's not complete. And then of course I had this thing that I found. I didn't know what it was. I'm assuming it's part of a jug or something from a crock pot or crock something. It's, you can tell it's kind of spiraled on the inside. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. I'm guessing that's what it is though. Like a jug, a piece of a jug. So, anyway, uh, this this one was uh, two and a half inches long. Very nice piece. I found this on Saturday. And then this one was today's killer find. That was just a little over three inches. Gotcha. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button.